So tonight I have a story and a question. And the story comes from Mark Gelman's book, Does God Have a Big Toe? Y'all know I love a good story. And Mark weaves stories into the stories of scripture. And this one is called Watching the Burning Bush Burn. When God set out to pick a leader for the children of Israel, the most important quality God was looking for was patience. God wanted somebody who would not give up, no matter how bad things looked, no matter how much the people complained, no matter how long it took to get to the land of Israel. God wanted a patient person to be a leader. So God set out to make a patience test that could be used to find the right person for the job. Now the angels were always bothering God with ideas and most of them were not very good. But God was patient. So God listened to all, to all the angel ideas for a patience test. Gabriel came forward with a tangled ball of string. Whoever has the patience to untangle this ball of string is our person for sure. God didn't like this test because untying knots is just boring work and string untanglers usually are the kind of people who save rubber bands and that was not what God had in mind although I would say I've known some pretty wonderful people who save rubber bands and you never know when you might need one then Michael the angel flew forward with a little puzzle box you had to twist it so that all the red squares were on one side and all the green on another and all the blue on another and the yellow on another. Michael said, this is a great patience test. You have to figure out how to get all the same colors on all the same sides. I'm still working on this one, so any person who can solve this puzzle is our person for sure. God sent Michael away. After explaining that you did not need patience to solve puzzles as much as you needed persistence, and God was convinced that some of the worst leaders had the most persistence. Although I know we know persistence is also important. And sometimes maybe it's just about what we're persistent about. So then of course God had an idea that was the very best patience test of all. God caused a bush to start burning in the desert just near where some shepherds were pasturing their flocks. A few shepherds passed it and walked away. They didn't even notice that the bush was burning, but not burning up. Bushes are not special, and bushes on fire are not that special. So nobody took the time to sit long enough to watch a miracle happen. Moses, who had run away from the palace and become a shepherd, saw the bush and sat down on the ground and watched. Moses watched and watched and saw that the bush's leaves were burned off and the bush's branches were black, just like an ordinary burning bush. The only thing different about this burning bush was that it did not burn up. It just continued to burn and burn and the branches never fell down in a heap and the fire never went out. And Moses was the only one who waited long enough to notice. Moses tried to get the other shepherds to come over and watch the bush with him, but they all had better things to do. Moses also had better things to do, but he did not know it at the time. Have we seen the burning bushes around us? Have we taken the time to sit down on the ground and wait for the miracle? Our world is on fire. God needs us to sit down and look. 
And we need to find out what the better things are that we need to be doing. So could we live with that question tonight? Take time to sit down on the ground and ask God to show you the miracle. And may the peace of God go with you this night. And may you see that fire that is burning. And may it inspire you. May that fire within you that is the Spirit of God flourish. The world needs you. Amen.